Ash, but we get some light on this in it. So looking like you might see some dark bits on the sides. It looks like I may have actually overcooked it a little bit. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it's probably best to keep a better eye than I did and don't go out for a cigarette. But um, you see, I've stirred quite a bit. I've stirred it quite a bit, and it's now it's down. The heat's down. It's not. It's not on that rolling boil like it was. Um, what I'll do is stir it around. I'll some some splashes at the sides because as it starts to thicken and the water starts to come out of it, you'll it should start forming crystals on the side of the pan, which is what we're looking for. Because that tells us the uh, the fudge is about ready. And this is getting much much thicker now. Look. You see that spoon's absolutely covered in this stuff, look, it's not. It's getting much thicker. Um, some things you'll see using a sugar thermometer. I find the sugar thermometer pretty useless actually. Um, another, another method that they use is what they say so they use a hard ball or soft ball, things like that, which I was taking a bit out and then putting it in a spoon into some cold water and uh, seeing if it's well soft or hard. So when it, once it starts to get to forming crystals, I might do take a bit out and see if it is hard ball or soft ball. Usually it's quite, it's still quite thin at that stage, and it, but it thickens up very, very, very quickly as the crystals start to form. So I don't think hard ball, soft ball test is quite appropriate. I think checking if these crystals form on the side, which I'll show you when they do, is by far the best way of judging if your fudge is done.